one sleeping bag, one short sleeve shirt, one long sleeve shirt, one pair of jeans, two shorts, three singlets, three pairs of socks, one rainproof jacket, one strange beanie, two watertight bags for my camera gear, one mask and snorkel, a small first aid kit, some food, three litres of water, one cooking pot, two leg ropes, one pair of sunglasses, six tent pegs, one Hawaiian sling hand spear, ten metres of string, a new pair of shoes, a uh, safari helmet and a partridge in a pear tree. I work in kitchens. They're usually small, hot, cramped little places. So during one of these particularly busy days, an idea just came to me that I should walk to Victoria. So now I'm working even more. I've got to work on my days off. Yeah, brah. So I'm psyched on that. I cut sugarcane during the day if I'm not working in the kitchen and at night time I go and cook some more in another kitchen. If I do get any spare time I usually spend that building my camera housing for the trip. I'll build at night if I'm not working. This is my uncle's place. He put it up over a couple of days. It was only meant to be a temporary thing and six years later it's still here with more additions all the time. I live here with Josh, my cousin. And this loudmouth funny guy, he's Josh's best mate. I can party, but I just can't rock and roll, you know what I'm saying? It's a boys kind of place where we do boy kind of things. I live in a small shed. It's not much, but it seems to do the job. It's the sort of shed that most of you would have in your backyard to keep your garden tools and your lawnmower in. Well, actually, I sleep next to the lawnmower. It's pretty cosy, really. Apart from those times where I roll over in the middle of the night and cop a face full of car part, that's not very fun. Finally, it's the last night before I leave. This one's rocking. Oh, I can get there leaving tomorrow. Then they really go. Yeah, cork them up. You are an Ingram, aren't you? No, I'm leaving in two days. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's real funny, isn't it? Real funny. <laughs> A criminal offence, but you just waste your beer. Tasting ourselves here, we are. There's a fingerprint on there. Anyway, it's the night before I leave, and um, I'm here sanding so I can paint again. Not much fun, but it's got to be done. Got to do some more stuff in the morning before I leave. I leave about lunchtime. Josh is going to drive us up to the border. Yeah. Well, back to work. I'm excited and I'm scared at the same time. To be honest, I don't think I'm really going to make it. It just seems like it's too far. I can't picture it in my head. These first few steps from Queensland to New South Wales are so exciting and relieving at the same time. It's an interesting feeling knowing I've just embarked upon a journey that will probably change my life. Two nights and two long days. I feel like a pregnant bullfrog about to give birth to a big baby. Hey. <laughs> My shoulders are burning like they've been cut with hot machetes. I've got to have I've got to stop every half an hour 
to let the blood back into my muscles and my shoulders. My pack weighs a million kilos, and every step it weighs another kilo more. For a while, at the start, while I walked, I counted things I saw. I counted 220 dead fish, 80 jellyfish, 63 coconuts, 567 lost thongs, and at 100 beaches, I just stopped. It became too much of an effort. Well, that's the counting anyway. I didn't stop walking, I kept walking. Another river to cross. I'm getting a bit sick of them. It's not like they're hard, it's just slows me down a bit, that's all. Might as well get it over and done with then. I pack up all my stuff nice and tight so it fits in my garbage bag. I tie them end over end until I've got four or five wrapped over my pack and it's nice and watertight. Then I'd somehow manage to carry my pack in slippy garbage bags down the rocks and get it into the water without getting any oyster cuts or nicks or scratches in my plastic bags. Strap everything onto my leg rope and just slowly paddle across the river dragging everything along. Now by this stage I had a certain technique so I'd do the exact same thing every time. I just had a system down, you know. Dingoes. I see their tracks running up along beaches in the middle of nowhere. I hear them most nights when I try to go to sleep. I even woke up with their tracks right around my tent one morning. I'm going to go spearfishing. That dark patch there is a school of fish. I won't be able to miss. There's hundreds of them. Okay, so I'm going to light a fire first. Right now that I've finally caught a fish, it's too big. Clean off my surfboard, get all the sand off, and use it for a chopping board carefully. I'm going to bring our pot over to the fire. Now we get my two minute noodles, put the salt in there. Put a whole packet of two minutes salt in. About half a pot of water. Now put it on the fire and cook it slow. Yeah, just give it a stir every now and then. So it cooks evenly. Pour them in. In about two minutes, they'll be ready. There we have salmon noodle soup. Should I say beach noodle soup? There's enough bloody sand in there. Yum. Yum. Yum yum! I still don't think I can make it. It just feels like it's so far. If I think of the whole distance, it does my head in completely. If I think of just getting to my next goal, the next town, it seems okay that way, but thinking of the whole distance in one hit, I can't even think about that. It just makes me want to quit right now. Just on dark here, I found this um, little shack in the bush. It was in the middle of a clearing. It's sort of really spooky. I think I, think I just saw something. I went outside to get some more firewood and um, I'm not sure, but I saw something that was pretty scary. So I just came back in and I shut the door. 
lean a big bit of wood up against it. And I'm just cooking some rice to go with my fish. I'm cooking my fish on a big stick here, you can sort of see. In the, in the, I hope they won't fall off. And the winner this year is John Machinecki. Great Great surfer. Not big enough. Yeah, it was pretty good. Scrap in the morning. Better than yesterday. Can we get a custard tart, please? Yeah, I'm at the start of a 20k beach. I don't dread it. I don't look forward to it. I know it's got to be done. Some days out here, it's like a desert. It's just hot, there's sun, plenty of sand. And um, there's no shade. That's what really gets you, is there's no shade. You can go in for a swim and come back out, but there's no shade all day. I'm running low on water. I don't really have much left. It's really hot today and I'm lost. Am I dead? It feels like I'm dead. And this would be what hell is like, stuck just walking. And not moving. Those islands haven't moved for hours. They've been in the same place. Well, that's lucky. I need water too. It's got to be done. The ferry costs nine or ten dollars. I'm not paying ten dollars for a ferry ride when I can swim across. So um, I'm going to aim for that little beach over there behind me. And if I can't get, I want to get onto a beach. If not that one, I'll get the one next to it. Well, we'll see how we go. It's a long way to the other side. And I think it looks kind of sharky out there, so I decided to rig up half of my hand spear as a shark prodding tool. I'm not the sort of person that is scared of the thought of sharks. If I actually saw one, I wouldn't go in the water. But I didn't see any, so I'm going to paddle across a river full of sharks with a toothpick in one hand and a camera in the other. <coughs> Somewhere in the middle of this large expanse of water, I decided to uh, test out my shark prodding abilities. Then I kind of worked out that um, the sharks would probably eat me anyway. So I used my most fearsome warrior head to scare them off. I made it. And I'm so happy. I've made it to the other side. I risked everything for $10 and I pulled it off. I didn't get to that beach, but I did get to some of the nicest looking rocks I've ever seen. I've finally come to this beach. I've heard so much about it. Um, depending on who you ask, it's 32 kilometres to 40 kilometres long. And it's pretty long for one single beach. No breaks, it's one beach. I'm just going to sit down, have some dinner, and then I'll make a start and walk into the night.
I bought so much food today. I bought twenty dollars worth of food. Look at that. Look at that five kilos there, and I got three water bottles as well. And my, my pack is so heavy; it feels like it's full of gold or something. Just another sleepless night to add on to the list. It was so windy last night, and I woke up this morning to sand as far as the eye could see just sand mountains of it it's like a desert right next to the ocean i nearly got swallowed by it i woke up to find my tent half buried in sand the wind had just been blowing on me all night while i slept i think i'm halfway or so down stockton and I realised that I bought way too much food. I got enough food and water for probably a week. Um, I got a bit excited when I went to the shop and everyone was telling me, oh, it's a long beach and this and that. So I bought too much. So now I'm sitting down, I'm gonna try and eat some. I couldn't show you because I was too tired. But we just got some ooh, veggies and noodles and stuff. And I'm really hungry. This beach is not physically hard, but more mentally hard because there's nothing there to look at. This is all the same beach. And I start thinking about everything and so it really hurts my brain. Sunshine. Well, I'm gonna have some lunch anyway. That was so tasty. Now I just wanna fall asleep, but um, gone and got cold, the sun's gone away now. I don't know. I think I'm sick of walking already. I've been thinking about quitting. What do you reckon? Quit, go home. Yeah. Have a good sleep, have a big feed. Mm. Yeah, quit, go home, go surfing. Don't seem to be doing much here. Let's quit. Come on, man, let's quit. I've got an idea. You and me, let's quit. We'll just quit everything. <laughs> Looking north up the beach, I can see how far I walked today. And it's not really very far. I would have liked to have walked further today. And looking south, I can see how far I want to go. I just want to get in the corner near those trees to sleep tonight. Hopefully I'll get that far. I'm pretty tired though. And it's starting to get cold, the sun's about to go down soon. I didn't make it to those trees last night. I was too tired, I just collapsed. I felt like quitting this morning. Um, I was sort of cold and nasty, my belly was empty, I was hungry. My body was tired. And now I've had, I went shopping, I had a shower. Sun's out, wind's offshore, there's nice waves that I want to keep going. My mind changes about every five minutes anyway. I've reached a turning point now. I'm past halfway. I can't go back. And now that I've come this far, I know I can do it. Nothing is too big of a problem for me to get past or through or around. I can do it. Having a rest day today at um, my mate John's place at near oh. Central Coast. Yeah, yeah. Here's John. Budgie Woy. There you go, say again. Budgie Woy, where the Budge Woydians live. I'm gonna wash all my clothes today. Only the nose knows. Off that goes. Singlet. <sighs> Nearly had it, that. That's destroyed. 74.5 Had lunch today after I took the dog for a walk and then I fell asleep and I just slept all afternoon I just got up now I feel like a bottomless pit I could just keep eating and eating Mmm
Nah, that speaks to it. So after eating all day, I put on two kilos already. I kind of lost the trail again. It's gonna head in um, that direction. I hate bush bashing, especially when you've got no idea of where you are. For all I know, there could be a track up there, like 10 metres or something. Oh, something's biting me. you got to keep moving. It's getting a bit thicker too. No, no good. I'm going to head down to the gully instead. Finally come across a goat trail. Got a couple of footprints. It makes me feel so much better. What gets you more than anything is the, um, the anxiety, I think, of not getting out again and having to camp in this crap with the insects and the charcoal. And it's not fun. Not fun at all. Yeah, that's the kind of track I'm talking about. It's a look of sheer concentration, pushing past the pain. While I walk, I think about what I'm gonna do when I get back. Food, yummy food. I think about that concrete post in the sand at the end. I think about growing up. I think about my whole life. Oh, look at that. Now that's pretty cool seeing that. Surges me on to finish that sort of past halfway down there. It's down in the bushes next to the surf club building at Bungan Beach. I talked to a couple of grommets, they reckon this was the spot. Got my stuff stashed in the bushes right now so no one can see it. See, the trick is, when you've got to set up in these places, you just go and sit somewhere and you wait until it gets dark, and then you set up once it gets dark and no one can see you. Well, that was my first night in the city. It wasn't too bad, I didn't get caught. Nice sunrise this morning, there's no swell really, it's pretty small. I'm going to keep walking through the city on the streets and stuff. Man, I'm in the city now. There's people everywhere. <laughs> so many people. It's freaking me out, eh? Um, that Manly Harbour Wharf Ferry, whatever it is. So many people. I haven't seen this many people in forever. It's pretty cool. It's Sunday afternoon on the um, park, the beach, whatever it is, it's Bondi, it's huge, there's thousands of people here, thousands. That was Jamie in the green jeans and Billy was a little kid with that cap. Nothing. Nobody. Monday morning and there's nobody here. Or maybe like five people on the whole beach. 
but not like yesterday. I was just walking along, minding my own business, when Jesus just jumped out from nowhere. And then he just slowly disappeared again at walking pace. He didn't really say anything. I've made it to near La Perouse tonight. I think that's it just over there. I found these uh, abandoned buildings, so I'm gonna stay in those tonight. It's kind of windy out. I've just got to check it out first. Oh, look at that. I'm pretty sure that's some kind of bunyip. I hope it doesn't eat me. It looks pretty scary. Oh, my Jesus, burn. What happens when your fire is too hot? Well, it was a pretty good place after all. It was, um, kept me nice and warm, there was no wind. This place doesn't seem nearly so scary in the daytime. Concrete's a bit hard, but you know, you deal with that. <laughs> it's ridiculous, it's just there. A couple hundred metres nearly. I, I could paddle it easy, I think, but it's just too windy today. I don't know. I'm gonna have to go around like this. Uh... Well, that's the end of Sydney. It seems I was apprehensive about nothing. It was not a problem at all. I didn't get caught camping out in the city. I didn't run into any trouble. Hey, that's where I slept last night. Out on the point. We just came down for a night, set up camp, sort of in the middle of nowhere, woke up hoping to find some like awesome surf. A bit mushy, but yeah, that was potential. That wasn't what we expected. Last so, night we next time. In. I'm disappointed that they weren't staying for longer. It was good to have someone to talk to. And the music, it was kind of strange to have the music in this setting. I'm so used to just hearing the wind and the trees and the water. There's a yacht down there, so I'm gonna go down there and check it out. I've kind of had a thing for yachts ever since I was little. I think it came from the fact that my dad and my uncle never stopped talking about yachts.
I've been invited to stay the night by Aiden's dad, who also happens to make really good homebrew beer. I was told the road would be closed. They're building a bridge or something. Well, I don't want to go inland, so I'm going to have to go around. This is the embassy for all of Karaji. Well, that's Wollongong, just there. I would have got there last night, but I got held up talking, and uh, that's how it is, you know. There's no rush, really. I'll get some more food, because I'm pretty low. I've got a bag of oats, actually. That's it. Sean's a good mate from my hometown, Naruma. Alright, let's go. The kitchen and shit. Pack lots of loads of paint the other day. I have absolutely no idea what he just said and I'm pretty sure he was speaking some kind of bodyboarding language or something. My room. Welcome. Thorn's a bodyboarder. Poor you soul. Have, you might have guessed. You can't help that though, really. Um, what's the worst part of being? What's the worst thing about being a stand-up? What do you mean? There's nothing bad about it. What's the worst part of being a stand-up? What do you mean? Admitting to your parents that you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> feel like I'm lacking in vitamins and minerals and stuff. So if I find something green, I kind of, I kind of have a little nibble. I came across my first electric fence. Hmm, prickly pears. Oh, shame they're not quite ripe. I wouldn't mind some of those. They're pretty tasty. That's the pears, not the prickles. Ah, uh, just another early morning barbecue. We've got porridge, banana. Look at those clouds out there. That was the rain I got last night. I don't know what happened, but I lost my teaspoon. Well, I was going to use a stick, but then I found my phone. And this little bit on the back just pops off. So I'm going to use that. The bit that hides the battery, and it'll just scoop in and eat the food. some rolled oats and some baked beans, a bit of water, the food of champions.
something I don't really want to see. A railway tunnel. It has to be done. The gauntlet. I'm going to run it. That's all there is to it. This one's probably about two days or so, so it's a fair beach. I've got a belly full of food, a pack full of food and water, and I'm ready to go. If you listen carefully, you can hear it. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing but water and beach. Nothing. It's me, my pack, my board, my stuff, and a long beach. One long beach, as far as I can see, just beach, beach. Right now, I can't remember um, why I thought long beaches were fun. It's annoying me. Did you just swim from over there? Yeah, yeah, I just swam across. You're mad. There was a white point over here not so long ago, actually. That bit of seal in half. I'm at um, back of Jarvis Bay. I had to walk around this way from um, wherever it was I was this morning because it was the quickest way, not always the most scenic way. I had to walk along the road and stuff. Now I'm back on the beach again, yeah. I'm just gonna walk around the Huskiskin, 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 Huskiskin. I can't say it anyway, it's just over there. And I've got to cross the creek, so I'll do that in the morning. Too early in the morning for crossing rivers. So happy about that ride that I'm actually going to go in for a swim now. I just feel all seedy and yuck, and I want to wash all the sweat off. So I'm going to jump in. That was so cold and refreshing. Oh, I feel nice and clean now though. Got some chocolate today. Yeah. I'm gonna have bolognese for lunch. We went to the butcher, got some meat, and we found a barbecue. There's one thing you can always count on, is finding a barbecue around any corner, anywhere. Put your onion on the heat, your meat. Oh, my bread rolls burning. Plastic spoon, and scoop him in. Now get some tomato paste. Back on your stove. The mixed herbs, there they are. I should have put them in at the start. We'll just put them in now. Should be enough cabbage for today. It's a bit sandy. 
that's the other thing. When you're camping on the beach, you get used to having sand in every meal, so it doesn't really matter anymore. Well, I can't wait till it's ready, so I'm going to start now. Just eating my bread. Hmm. Burnt tongue. With hot food, there's one thing you don't want to burn your tongue. You'll spend the next six hours walking, and all you can think about is your burnt tongue. been watching this storm brew up as I walk along. It's just started to peak now. The humidity is just ridiculous. And out of nowhere, the smallest river I've ever seen. So small I can step across it in a single bound. I really wish there was more rivers like that one. As luck would have it, I'm going to be walking on the beach again today. It's kind of nice. You can see something up ahead. It's, yeah, that's awesome. And I was hungry too, so hungry. I was just thinking about something like this. And there it is, waiting for me. That's great. Just like a supermarket. Well, it looks really fresh. And its eyeballs nice and clean. Looks like I'll be having a really good lunch today. So I'm just going to finish off my morning lunch and then keep walking and probably have a second lunch. And then a third lunch. I'm so hungry I can just keep eating all day. I can't carry enough food. I'm wasting away. Look at me. I'm getting all skinny and stuff. Oh, hang on a sec, I think I was skinny to begin with. <laughs> if you're not watching your step, you roll an ankle, it's all over. If I roll an ankle, it's all over, not you. Every single step. Sometimes I'll go on for like this for half an hour, an hour, you're just concentrating where you put your next foot. It takes a lot out of you. Just pure concentration every footstep. That salmon I had for lunch really gave me so much energy today. I've walked about a million kilometers and my back's a little bit sore, but um, my legs are going strong and I've still got another half of salmon. Pretty good if you ask me. Got a little critter. Got to have a proper look now. <laughs> See if there's any more. Mm. Oh, there's another one. The only thing about these ticks is that um, they'll because I don't kill them. You're supposed to kill them first. When I squeeze them and pull them out, all the poison goes into me. I don't get, I get headaches and I'll get... <laughs> Lethargic. Ah! There we go. Two ticks. Sometimes trails are hard to find. Really got to sniff them out and follow your nose. Get out for the signs like little yellow things tied in trees. For those of you that don't know, that stinging nettle, if it touches your skin, it stings. It really hurts. And I could see it was there, and I was extra careful. And it still got me.
Well, that's three rivers today. Three is a bit of a record. If I rushed, I could get and do a fourth today. That'd be exciting, wouldn't it? More Vegemite sandwiches. That's how we make them. The zigzag. Fold him over. And he goes. Raw cockles are uh, slightly tastier than um, raw pippies from memory. I think I like Pippi's better now. the worst thing you're just trying to have a nice quiet snap and then along come these people out of the bushes really quickly and you gotta go oh and put your pants up real quick and like act like you're normal and stuff like you're not just having a big poo It's no longer about finding waves anymore. It's just about surviving and getting to the end. I've got another couple of hundred kilometres left to go and I just have to get there. It's going to be hard. It's the hardest bit, the end. But Hopefully when I'm standing there at that concrete pole in the middle of nowhere I'll know something more than I did before. <laughs> it seems they're after me. <clears throat> I take one out and another one will just appear on my stuff to take its place. There's ticks everywhere. Don't trust them. And the fattest mozzies you've ever seen. I can see Mount Dromedary in the background. Chiros, Potato Point, Dalmini, then Naruma. Walking through this part of the coast is like eating a mouthful of sugar. It's just so sweet. I don't even notice I'm walking. This is where I'm from. This beach right here is the one I grew up on as a child, and it feels like home. Yeah. This is my mate Robin. He's a bit of a lens man. If there's a lens, he's got to perform and get on there somehow. He's gonna go rest those weary legs of his. For a little while anyway. I'm not finished yet. Well, if I stay here for too long, I probably won't keep going tastiest food you've ever seen in your life. Right here. This beach is where I learned to surf. And I spent most of my time in the water anyway. I like this beach. But I've got to keep moving. If I sit here, I could sit here until I'm an old man. I probably will sit here when I'm an old man. I 
I probably shouldn't have stopped at home. I'm so tired now, I relaxed a bit, a little bit too much, and now I can't get going. Not the best tasting food, but it does the job. Mm -mm -mm. Oats and beans, oats and beans, oats and beans. Mm, yum, yum, yum. Oats and beans, oats and beans, tra-la-la, -la. oats and beans. And that's all that's left. So I've got to fill up my spare. Tastes a bit funny. It's clean. Tastes like a dam. So, in she goes. All over. One hour later, it should be all purified. Well, I'm back in the bush. And there's no trail as usual. I'm a bit lost, but I'm in. I'm on the way. I'm using my um, lost and found random zigzag bush technique. So what you do, you lost, and you want to be found. So you do random zigzags in the general direction. I'm lost for an hour or two in the thicker scrub. So I'm making the call. <laughs> Luckily I get reception here in the middle of the bush. So I'll call my cousin Pete. He's been here before and hopefully he'll tell me where the track is and I'll get out of this thick scrub. So the first gully. And then follow the ridge up. Okay. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I'll find that. I'm pretty close to where that is now anyway. Alright, thanks man. I'll see you later. Well, this looks like a track just here. With these rocks. Definitely. It's only very faint. Some nice bushwalkers um, stacked up rocks here along the side of the trail so you know it's a trail. This is the second time today I'm lost. I'm not happy at all. I've got to back backtrack again. I found some power lines running through the bush. They've been cleared underneath, so the walking's easy, and I'm gonna follow those south and see how far I can get with them. One power line leads to the next power line, and that power line to another power line. And this power line leads to a road, which also is going the exact same place that I wanted to go. So everything really worked out quite well. Another one of those places that's just so beautiful. And I'm not telling you where this is either. What do you think this is? Getaway or something? <laughs> you want to see it? Get out there and find it for yourself. Well, the beach is way too windy. It's like gale force southerly just here. So, um, I'm going 
going to be taking the road. It's going to be noisy and it's a little bit longer, but it's not as cold. Even though it is cold, it's not as cold as the beach today. I'd use up so much energy. So, we hit this road. Oh yeah, and I did surf. I did take my surfboard for a reason. I did actually use it. But there was nobody there to film me surfing. So here's some empty waves. And pretty damn good ones too. I surfed most of these places. And I only ever surfed if the surf was exceptionally good. Otherwise, I'd just keep walking. Most of the time, it wasn't very good. I wasn't there on the right tide or the right wind or the right swell or the right time of day. It was too small, it was too fat, it was never hollow enough, but I did get some good waves and I had a lot of fun. I put these waves at the end because I didn't want to expose anyone's secret local break people would probably get upset at that sort of thing. Not that there's really, in my eyes, many secrets left on the east coast of New South Wales. I can see it, the border, it's out on that tip of land there, somewhere, it's so close now. I'm on the northern edge of Nadji National Park, I'm about to enter into the zone, last three or four days to the border, I'll be so happy once I get there. It's nearly over. Not really into it today. I got bitten by two ticks yesterday. I'm gonna keep walking, I only got a couple of days left. But uh, my feet have been doing weird things. It's starting to rot or something. Under my toes. So I'm gonna cut my socks because this bit of the sock is so rotten. It's gonna cut that off and then sew up this bit so I've got a fresh brand new bit of sock. It'd be nice. Well, I hope these threads hold. Oh, if it doesn't, I'll be in trouble. Might get a blowout early in the day. Do not leak lead. Huh. <laughs> yeah, right. Safety first. I've only got a day left of food, that doesn't matter either. I'm almost there. I can't believe I'm there. It's so, so close right now. And the whole time it seemed like it was almost impossible, like an impossible distance. I could not get there, there was no way it was too far. Well, I'm feeling really tired and um, a bit scruffy. I've been out for two months and a few days, quite a few days, I don't know how long. I've lost count. And the border now is about 10 k's away and I'm starting to get a little bit excited. And I can't believe I'm here that I've walked this whole way.
I can't explain how I'm feeling right now. This is the last beach. The border is just behind the sand hills over there. It's amazing. So far yet I got here. Hmm, my face looks kind of scary in that light. Use the force, Luke. Use the force. <laughs> got really close. It's just a few hundred meters over some sand hills and I'm there. So that's two and a half months of walking, camping out, fires, baked beans, rice, nothing. Hard beds, ticks, mosquitoes, and fun. Lots of fun. Damper with honey for breakfast. It's ready. There's a few chunks of charcoal in it, but um, it's good enough around here. this very moment I expected a crowd of people just to come out of the sand dunes and all be very happy for me and congratulate me and stand around cheering and stuff but there wasn't a crowd I didn't even cheer really I just did this for the camera I didn't really feel that great or that excited about being there I just stood next to the pole and looked out to sea for a while and was thinking, I was thinking about my next trip. So after walking for 80 days and from 1,600 to 2,000 kilometres, I'm not sure exactly how far it was, I'm editing now. I thought the walking was the hard part, but the editing is actually even harder again. I've spent nearly a year editing. It's taken a long time to get it to what it is, and I'm still not happy with it.
but that's life. Hi, my name's so and so. Blah 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 blah. I'm so good. Blah 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 blah. I'm the best. Blah 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 blah.